Hello, After Darkers, and welcome to another After Dark Talk episode. I'm your host, King Stephen J, with my co host, Chrissy. Hey, Ew. hey, hey, and we have another episode for you guys, episode number eight. This episode is going to be dangerous. We're going to talk about some some real, real, real shit. <laughs> dangerous for y'all <laughs> <laughs> yeah this this one right here i ain't gonna even lie man this whole episode is gonna be against me so no it's I mean, not just prepare no, yourselves man because it's about to get real fucking ugly we're gonna get down to the ugly truth have you seen that movie nah the you u- probably haven't seen the, that. Ugly, the truth? ugly truth yeah no yeah yeah we're gonna get down to the ugly truth so uh today we have some we have some um some guests with us but they're not gonna be on the microphones today <laughs> we got a uh, good friend named nicole she's here she's actually in the background reading a book corny mm-hmm. corny corny <laughs> and she's really intellectually smart though i'm just gonna let you guys know that yeah and she is single fellas we'll post a picture on our instagram account <laughs> you should see her face right now like yeah you hear, she it, said, you hear it dang free promotion don't even have to join <laughs> tinder what what tinder you still on tinder you still on tinder you on tinder nope you, you're not on tinder what's your tinder name <laughs> light light bright light bright light bright 85 <laughs> light bright 85 Shut your mouth. <laughs> and then and then <laughs> She 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 just that's it nothing no Tinder profile period. No, I do not have no Tinder. Okay, okay. Well, yeah. well, guys, go search Light Bright eighty five. Yeah, on Tinder. <laughs> but she she will mysteriously pull up on the um the After Dark talk you know Instagram account. Oh, yeah, she will. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She she gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> but let's move on to our first segment of the show, our current events. So um, else? I had kind of written him off. You know, a few years ago, because I thought he was, you know, at office rockers. But I am low key proud of Kanye West. Hey. He just recently became a billionaire. Dang. Thanks to his uh, Yeezus, Yeezys, whatever uh, brand. So Dang. his shoes, his clothes, like, y'all done made the man a billionaire. See like, what so happens when you step him. away from Nike and go straight to Adidas. It happens. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, nah, for real, like Team Adidas. Brother got more money than Diddy now. I, I know Diddy pissed because he still ain't hit a billionaire status. Jay Z done surpassed him. He hasn't. Nope. He he's stuck at six hundred million a year. He has not made it to a billion yet. Wow. Yeah. He's always four hundred off. <laughs> always. <laughs> always. Like damn, for the rest of his life. <laughs> for the last <laughs> ten years, he's been four hundred off. He's still. Well, maybe if he didn't have all them cheering. You know? Nah, it ain't got nothing to do with the children. It got to do with them fucked up ass contracts he put people in. Oh, well, that's what he get. <laughs> that's what he get. Trying to be too greedy, and that, this is where you get. Exactly. So I, w- I want to say, like, we got three people now. We have Jay Z was the first one. No, no, no. Dr. Dre was the first one. With, with the headphones, with the uh-huh, Beats headphones. Uh-huh. Yep. And then we had Jay Z, and now we got Kanye West. So that's mm. dope, man. Congratulations, Kanye West, man. Yes, Proud of you. Congrats. Proud of you. What's the, what's, what, we got? what else we got? Uh, yeah. Uh, the president. I don't. I, I'm not even gonna say y'all's, because it don't even matter anymore. But the president, <laughs> right? <laughs> president Orange <laughs> actually suggested injecting UV rays and bleach inside a patient's body to treat COVID nineteen. Damn. Like. Damn. He would. <laughs> and then he tried to come back and say he was being sarcastic. Damn. I watched it. I watched the video. Damn. I watched the video. Like, nah, you wasn't being sarcastic. Like, you was, you was like low key for real. Damn. Damn. Injecting what? He thought that was really gonna work because of whatever doctors were saying. Like, oh yeah, you know, if you put this on a surface and leave it there, like, whatever. Like, he really thought like that was the same concept can happen inside a body. Like, yeah. That's just yeah. wow. Mm, okay, yeah. Yeah. I'm over it. What else we got? <laughs> <laughs> moving right along uh for you gamers out there i'm pretty sure y'all already know but travis scott he did a major major concert on Fortnite. i i didn't know nothing about it i well i saw one of my friend girls on snapchat last night she she showed her screen and it was like a cartoonish version of Travis Scott, but I didn't know what it what was going on. But apparently, that's what was going on was this concert. So, yeah, um, he performed some songs from his album Ast- Astro World, 
and he debuted a, a debuted a new song with uh, Kid Cudi. Mm, mm, I used to be a fan. Not, not Day and fan. night. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> that's all I can tell you. Maybe one other one other song, but you know. He did play in the movie Need for Speed too. Did an awesome job. Did he? Yeah. Didn't didn't watch it. No, sorry. Okay. okay. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sips the tea. <clears throat> and what happened on this day? Uh, can we get a year? Do we know what year this happened? Nah. It's okay. I didn't do that much research. It's, it's, I'm okay, sure, it's okay. I'm sure our listeners would definitely tune in to this figure out. Like, day, what probably a century ago. Let's just she, go with that. She, pointed my, <laughs> she put my ass on the chopping block. I, right I did. There. I did. Man, what was that show called? You've been cut. Or you've been chopped. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that shirt. and yeah. the weakest link. Shit, God, I don't yeah, love it. I'm the weakest link. I can't even get the year on there. Okay, go <laughs> it's ahead. It's cool, it's cool. <laughs> April 24th, sometime in the 19th century. <laughs> Maybe the 20th, I don't know, because my, my co-host didn't put it. But yes, April 24th. Y'all you see what I'm doing right now. My middle finger is just rolling up in the air. <laughs> Let me see it. Okay, cool, cool. The United Negro College Fund was founded. Hey. That you know that's awesome yeah that that's is very awesome. awesome that is a black um historic report right there yes to be honest with you we're gonna we're gonna do something like that every day mm-hmm. it was kind of cool to get to know that right there yeah. I, I didn't even know when the thing was started and we don't we don't mention it and it's definitely not mentioned even in school use it anymore yeah do you think people still use it today mm-hmm. probably not as much yeah um but then again it's not talked about so we probably need to you know keep putting it out there yeah, especially for our, you know, our our people. Mm-hmm. Real talk. Yeah. Now we definitely need to put that out there. More. Yeah. Just gonna keep it one hundred. Uh, so uh, you can go to community college, and then you can get that right there. Yes. Go to, ain't nothing wrong with going to community college, guys. I done went to community college for damn near four or five years. I'm just gonna keep it real. It, with you. Listen, <laughs> Christina still goes to still today. Still go. Last twelve years. Now. <laughs> listen, still go. Hey, when life hits you, it hits you. <laughs> But guess what? Community college is there. I would just let you know. Them credits still <clears throat> transfer over. It will and get classes you. Classes only cost you if you live in a district seventy five dollars. Depending, yeah, it's like it's really three cheap. credits for seventy five dollars. There's no excuse. You know. It's no excuse. For your college, too 12, much. About twelve hundred. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Dummy money being spent. I'm just mm-hmm. letting you know that right now. Take your ass to a community college. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just saying. But let's jump right into. Right, I said right into that shit was just straight wrong. <laughs> right into today's subject, which is damn. I don't, I don't even want to. I don't even want to it. Are women real. staying single because men are broke? And this is not dedicated to one race. This is men in general. Men, men. I think we, I think we fuck human up, species. I think we sub species. I think we fuck it up. So what we're gonna do is, to be honest with you guys, we're gonna break it up into three different sections. Okay, okay. we're gonna start off with the economically economically attractive asset, mm-hmm. and then we're gonna do the foundation. I said asset. What the hell? Portion, <laughs> the foundation portion, and the conclusion portion. We're gonna break it up into those three different segments, and we're gonna talk about it today. Um, hopefully, you know our listeners can you know get something out of this, especially mm-hmm. our male listeners, because after doing a lot of this research, I was just like, yo, I've been like literally fucking up bad, especially during this COVID nineteen. How you figure situation? Because right. I've been dipping into my savings like a <gasps> motherfucker. It, I mean. Like a motherfucker. But you shouldn't. What you mean? For what? What you mean? For what? What do you shit mean? Open. What do you mean? You still got bill. Bills are still open. I mean, the electricity I use is still open. The cell phone I use is still open. The grocery store is still open. Get on Wi-Fi. I still got Aldi. A, Spectrum is still open. Aldi, uh, you got to put a quarter in a damn basket just to use it. It's still keep open. Keep that same quarter. <laughs> keep that same quarter. Don't spend it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it might have COVID-19 on it. I can't keep using it. Oh, my it. God. I got to no. buy a Lysol just to clean it off, you God, know? Once well, I stick it in the hole, I got to protect it when I pull it back out. Hey. I'm just saying. Hey, you hear that? <laughs> Once, listen, I ain't, I ain't even finna repeat it. Bad, I ain't even repeat it. I straight went nasty on that. Yeah, line. you did. <laughs> Nicole is like, what did he say? Like, I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what turns you. Now, let me stop. That, that could have turned her on. Who no, knows? Like, no. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. So when I heard about this story, 
I immediately called my my co-host, my sister, Chrissy, and I was like, hey, we got to talk about this right now. We got to talk about this today because basically I didn't even know that men can be economically attractive. Hmm. That's crazy because like it's like when you think about attractiveness, you automatically think about the physical attractiveness Mm -hmm. and then sexual sexual and then whatever's inside of that guy that makes him like personality wise. Right. <clears throat> we, we we look at it from that aspect and we try to figure out how the person is attractive. And now we got economically attractive. So that means that not only you thinking that this person is handsome or beautiful or sexy or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, the whole world is the <laughs> same thing. It's like, okay, like like say for instance if uh just give me a celebrity. Um more, uh, let's see, Chrissy Tick. Oh, Morris Chestnut. Mm-hmm. Who is his wife? I don't know his wife. Oh shit. Okay, let's do mm-hmm. Chrissy Teague and okay, a John okay. Legend. Okay, yeah, yeah we know. So yeah, yeah. Chrissy Teague and a John Legend is, of course, is married. Mm-hmm. All right. So economically, John Legend is attractive because he provides for his family. We know Chrissy Teague can get her own show and she does her own thing at the end of the day. Right. You know, I mean, John what exactly does she do prior to? I'm, I know she did something, but what did like? I have no clue. Oh, okay. You know, before before the instant oh, fame. She, oh, she's oh, a model. Okay, a model. Okay, Thank okay. you, Nicole. You see, that's Thank why you need you. a mic. That's why you need a mic. Oh, okay, right on. Okay, yeah. <laughs> just keep screaming from the background. <laughs> 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 okay, so Chris Tingen was a model, so that's how she met. I don't know if that's how she met John Legend. I don't know how that whole thing went down, but the fact that John Legend can you know provide for his family financially, um, women think that that's very sexy. So that mm-hmm. means he's economically, you know attractive it is I, I just really did not know that that was a thing that is like new to me i guess the the um it having a name like the term like that's new to me but that is something that's real yeah. like we do we're kind of raised to <clears throat> once we actually start being serious mm-hmm. with dating mm-hmm. like this is what you look for in a man like but see and 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 i think sis on all honesty i think that we've been doing it ass backwards because economically attractive need to be dead ass first to be honest with you i don't think true. it needs i don't think it needs to be last true like like we we fucking up as just a species in general especially for the male side it's like oh we want to look so we get sexy so we get in the gym mm-hmm. and do all that stuff when in actuality we just need to have a good job that makes a sustainable or not uh, i say like a, a stable income right and we're able to provide able to save and, and, and be smart with our money yeah that makes a person more attractive but it, the way of the world we kind of went as backwards mm-hmm. and it's, it's just like, like yo you i'm attracted to this person so depending on what they got on on in their bag like okay whatever yeah. i'll take it but uh, i don't know it's, it's like, like how long can you keep that front up though it's like it's like when we date somebody and we're fronty, mm-hmm. you know, for the first what, the two 30, or three months. Well, 30, at least ninety days. Yeah, like, ninety yeah. days. Mm-hmm. You're, you're fronty. Mm-hmm. Like something's mm-hmm. gonna change about you. So I mean, mm-hmm. you're always doing dinners, and he's like, "Damn, I'm getting broke," and 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 everything like that. So it's just like right. this. This is new to me. And like mm-hmm. I said, when I started doing research, I was like, "What the hell?" Like I obviously missed the train. Like I honestly missed the train because. I've had my mind on the wrong thing the whole time. Yeah. I'm trying to get my body together. I'm trying to that helps. <clears throat> do X, Y, and Z and and I obviously be messing up. So so let's jump right into this. We're gonna jump okay. right into like the whole we can, we're gonna start with the icing on the cake. Okay. Before we get into the main ingredients. Okay. Marriage data. <laughs> mm. Like seriously. Like ask the questions, I'm gonna answer them. All right. <laughs> All right. So Last year, Mm -hmm. 2019, Mm -hmm. how many people got married? According to Google. (laughs) (laughs) Hello, Siri. (laughs) Right, right. 61.96% of the people in America got married last year. So that's That's, over half. That's over half. That's good. That's that's good. Wait till we get to the next goddamn question. Uh oh. (laughs) Oh, geez. Um, How many people got divorced? 40 to 50%. Damn. So that means out of that amount, there's only Half twenty. To, that's only twenty to ten percent of those people that, are still married. That's still together out wow. of 2019, which is crazy. That might have just been a bad year for them to get Mm-mm. married. Wait till the next question. Oh, we're gonna geez. we just gonna we just gonna list the top three. Damn, okay. we, I'm not gonna go all the way down the line. <sighs> what was the reason, Stephen? Number one, infidelity. Number two, money. Mm. And number three, lack of communication. What I be telling y'all? Trust and communication. <laughs> that's that's like number three. It's just, but still, there's two other important things in front of that. 
money. Infidelity. And infidelity. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. If y'all stay out these hoes DMs, <laughs> it wouldn't have no That's issues. That's male and females, guys. It's not just it's Yeah, not yeah, no. Ho- I'm, listen, I'm, I am born and raised Texas, Dallas, to be exact. Ho is a noun. So <laughs> just so y'all know, ho so, is a noun. It's actually a verb, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a depending on how you look at it. Why you out here being a hoe? <laughs> it's a noun, guys. Girl, I hooked up with him and his friend. You a hoe? <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. I'm sorry. Hoeing. Yes. <laughs> I don't. No, for real. On a goddamn. Line. Girl, that stuff is strong when you inhale it. Jesus Christ. See. I think yeah. it's German. So, Whatever. We'll no, it, talk about it that later. Definitely is German. We'll, we'll talk about but, that. But um, yes. but it's crazy. So it's like love is definitely there. Of course. Right. But mm-hmm. also the non-education behind love is there as well. Mm-hmm. So it makes me believe that people just get married for the idea of it. Right, they 16. may not even really love each. I mean, no, no, they, they well, love each other. They definitely they love each other, but they don't. Definition? They don't understand how to keep each other. Ah, uh, you know uh, what I mean. So, sixty-one point ninety-six percent of people—that's that's a high number. That is, and then after that, twenty percent to ten to eleven percent of them are still married. <laughs> that's that's crazy. that's sad. That, that's crazy. That's really sad. But but jumping into the whole economically attractiveness. Hmm. I'm just going to dive deep into this one. Go ahead. All right? So it was a study done, and I don't know where the study was done at. I'm sorry. I should have I should have wrote down the, the website and everything like that, but I didn't. <laughs> so um, men who don't have a bachelor's degree or any type of degree is not attractive to women. Now, nah. now just not, I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that this is true or not. <clears throat> I'm I'm definitely not saying this is true or not, but this is what this is what most American women are stating. Okay, wait, hold on. What you guys talking about over there? Because Nicole just showing. gave the the whole oh, <laughs> like so so like yeah, kind of. Okay, so the next one. Okay, do not have a stable job making over forty thousand a year. I can see that. That I, like that definitely is not a good thing. And we ain't talking to, if you, if you're a street hustler, you don't qualify you gotta have a w2 or a w9 you disqualify you disqualify yeah 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 yeah. (laughs) if you think that that's the best way for you to make your money just just enjoy your time with that lady for a little bit because when she marries you she's not holding you down once you get caught i'm just letting you know that right i wouldn't sorry not Um, but i wouldn't even be dealing with you so i'm yeah also what makes a man economically not attractive Mm -hmm. is the fact that many men today have little to bring to the marriage bargain. What marriage bargain? But you don't know what that. Yeah, what like what? What do you mean? The whole marriage, like like the whole thing in general, the bargain of it, like paying Shit, the. If they ain't like, got at least like a if second you bargain, one. if you bargain how your marriage is gonna work from the house mm-hmm. to work to time being spent, the whole bargain, like mm-hmm. you have nothing to identify within that whole situation, so. And then let's 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 read the last one before we talk about these. Women's education level on the average now exceeds their male suitors. Yeah. That's definitely true. Yeah. That's definitely yeah, true. We're now seeing more women of all races. Mm-hmm. Grinding. I'm, besides like, Asian community, those dudes. I mean, that's just a given. Yeah, like, yeah, they come yeah. out the womb yeah. reading a book. And say, <laughs> like, I think Nicole half Asian. Oh, shit. Because <laughs> she literally I'm just killed, like. 30 pages with this book and we only been sitting here for a total of 19 minutes get it girl get it girl i love it i'm not gonna even lie to you i'm not gonna even lie to you so yeah so let's talk about this let's talk about this at the end of the day i don't have a degree i have some type of college um but at the end of the day i still want to be attractive as a male now i do pass the whole stable job making over 40k i think that that's very important for a man to at least make over 40k i don't even know how much that is if you break it down to hours that should be roughly about 18 to 20 dollars an hour give or take because i know yeah. 15 is still at 30 no 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 it's going to be more than that it's going to be more than that and because of course this is before taxes hour is like thirty-two thousand. yeah but still <clears throat> that's fine i mean when i was dating mm-hmm I just wanted them to be able to 
have the basics. And the, what was the basics? The basic. A job. Your own place. Okay. A job and a car. Mm-hmm. I'm not big on like, oh, he got to have a Benz, whoop de whoop. Like, I don't care about that. Like, yeah. that's cool. That's great. But I understand that comes with maintenance. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, you. <laughs> well, see, so you you got it. You got it. But now, like. That was Nicole, y'all. In the background. <laughs> <laughs> she just need a damn microphone. I know. Quit, quit being shy. But um, just, just the basics. Like, those are like basic ad- adulting. Mm-hmm. Like things that i mean i don't know like if you don't have that then i didn't really have much conversation for you exactly um it helps if you were somewhere close to what i made but it's not like i cared more about their goals their mm-hmm. ambition mm-hmm. so even if you were making let's say you were making like 35 40,000 a, uh, a year if you were not just content with that and you were willing to go back to school or, you know, you, you're looking for a promotion or you're possibly going to get a promotion at your job to be a supervisor, whatever the case, like you knew that you didn't want to stay at this particular bracket, then great. Like that made me attracted to you yeah, or whatever. But you know, I'm everyone's different. Yeah. Everyone's different. But but see, this right here is based on like women's. um it's like a woman's poll. So they only ask women this question. And it's crazy because, like, this is, like, the standard. Like, what makes it attractive is when a man makes over 40K a year. 40 to 40. Because if you think about it, like, you really do need to make that nowadays. Just to, to make it. float. Yeah. Like, just to be at the line. Yeah. Like, anything. I say, I, there was a study that I read earlier, I want to say last year, that you mm-hmm. needed to at least make $60,000 in order to be comfortable. No, that's real. Yeah, that's real. I, I see that's that just in like my own life. Because yeah. like a one bedroom apartment now is like what twelve, thirteen hundred dollars. Easy. I remember back in two thousand and ten, like my first joint, I was like six hundred dollars. Like yo, I'm Ooh. killing the game. Like I paid everything in one paycheck. Like you could. <laughs> I'm just like, saying, like it's different these days. Yeah, no, but, that's, um, that's unheard of. But it's just it's just not it's even just, in South Dallas. Man, like, South Dallas, South Dallas is different now. Like it's whole the whole gentrification and everything like yeah. that. The, the whole thing has changed. Like they got condos over there. Like everything inside oh, yeah, the inner Bear city, Street, yeah, that, yeah. Everything in inner city areas is is totally changed. So, yeah. So like like when I think about like how can I help my fellow species, like yo, like how can I help them become economically attractive? It's just like there's there's certain steps that we can take. Mm-hmm. Get a job, even if it's part time. Especially if you are something like a street pharmacist, you need something to clean your money so you can be able to, you know, pay yeah. taxes and stay under the radar. So, yeah, get a, you, get a little part time job at a yeah, warehouse at or something. At the end of the day, something. you still need something. Yeah. Right. After that, you need to open up a check and a savings account if you don't have it. We need to start establishing history of like the trace of your money. To yeah. be honest with you. Wood Forest <laughs> at Walmart. Something. Exactly. Regions. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> something. <laughs> After that, start building a savings. Mm-hmm. This is this is like one of my hardest things. Oh, like that's, if you get paid hard, if you get yeah. paid a thousand dollars every two weeks, right? I know that it's gonna be hard, but even if you sit like if you tithe it mm-hmm. and put at least ten percent behind beside you know, what you give to God. So there's really 20%. Mm-hmm. If that's something that you do, mm-hmm. you know, then sit that aside in your savings account yeah, and just do it every week. And after a certain amount of years, you see that build up. Yep. But like me, I have to have funds for everything. Like I have to have a car fund, mm-hmm. an emergency car fund. Cause I never know when the tire is going to have blow out. That's true. Can I have a gas fund. I use credit cards for that. <laughs> that's smart. <laughs> you know what I mean? I have a that, gas that's a, credit that's card. an easy way to, you know, continue to help build your credit exactly. because you're using it like on a weekly basis. Exactly. So yeah. Exactly. And the next thing is make a budget. Like mm-hmm. that's like that was like one of my craziest things right there. Get an Excel sheet and then yeah. right now everything that I have. Look at you, BCIS class coming yeah, back. Yeah. Coming back. Fuck that BCIS <laughs> teacher too. I'm just letting you know. He was an asshole. Asshole. I, I know you're not listening because you're probably dead right now. But you were an asshole. <laughs> I couldn't stand that fucking class. Yeah. I can't remember. I can't even remember who my teacher was, but I didn't like it. I think it Just was. Just put it like this. Mm-mm. Every black dude in the class fucking failed the whole year. Uh, and then mm. every Hispanic girl in the class failed the whole fucking year. Everybody else passed. 
Exactly. The fuck? Yes. Okay. And his name was Mr. Fleming. Fuck <gasps> you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Old dirty creep. <laughs> oh, my god. He was the gosh. reason why I didn't play basketball my junior, <laughs> my junior senior. Oh, my god. Asshole. <laughs> yeah, he was, a, he was an asshole. I remember him. Anyways, remember him. <laughs> moving forward. Mm. Um, make some long-term goals. That's definitely important. Yeah. I think that we, we was going to actually have a podcast or an episode today that was dealing with uh, boss babe, mm-hmm. boss babes, and um, basically how these women are earning money through the pandemic. They're killing it. Yeah. So I believe that as a entrepreneur, you need to start off at the end road. Long so you need to start off yes. at the end, which is your long term goal mm-hmm. where you want to be at. Mm-hmm. Like if you want to be at five thousand dollars, start off at the end. I want to be at $5,000. And then from there, how am I going to get there? Exactly. Map it out. Yes. So I think that that's another one. Another good thing. I mean, it's more of a female thing. Mm -hmm. I don't really see guys doing it too much, but vision boards. If not a vision board, write it down. Exactly. Just just write it down. Like, listen, you know, I want this. I Mm -hmm. want to be able to save this amount within a month Yeah. or whatever. So if that means that's $10 a week, you know. Something. $5 $5 a day, whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, and and to be honest with you guys, there's a good app called Digit. Um, You can download it in your Apple Store, your Google Play Store. Mm-hmm. So basically what happens is every time you spend money, like so say for instance, you spend, you know, $5, you can have it set to where it takes out 5 to 10% out of your account and take it to the, send it to the Digit account, which is an automatic savings account. Mm-hmm. And over time that'll build. Like I haven't checked my Digit account in probably like six months. Like I know it's over. Yeah. 1K. Yeah. It, it has to be over 1K because I pay all my bills through my debit card. <laughs> now, now, no, now I pay them through my credit card and I pay my credit card off so I can build my credit. That's why my credit is over. So, anyway, yeah, yeah. We ain't going to talk yeah, about that I right mean, there. Yeah. <laughs> that, that could be another show or that could be this show. Took like, me a long time to get there. But hey, you listen, know what I mean? Some, when, a, when a man talk to another man and he giving you wisdom, you better accept that you wisdom. You better listen. You listen. You, you better listen. listen for real. You even even the bullshit. You still listen because you can you can swing it to your own bullshit. Like <laughs> <laughs> for real though, for real. <laughs> and then, um, another one is begin to build credit. We just talked about that. Begin to build credit. If you have shitty credit right now, go and take five hundred dollars, anywhere from three to five hundred dollars, mm-hmm. and get yourself what is called uh, a secured, secured or unsecured, credit card. whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah. no, it's secured, secured credit card. Yeah, definitely. You can do that, or you can take out a secured loan. Either one mm-hmm. of the two. And then what you do is out of three hundred dollars, you might spend seventy bucks. At the end of at, the day, you better make sure ten dollars is on there two weeks before that credit card bill is due. Yes. All right. Yes. You want to make sure your util- utilization it, is clean and clear. Use it for gas. <clears throat> um, if you if you smoke cigarettes or something, buying cigarettes, anything from a convenience store, something that you know that's small, mm-hmm. a small amount that you can pay back before the due date. Exactly. Exactly. No, not after, not even on. Try to do it like a week before the due date. I I'm telling you, your credit score would jump up at least it it truly depends on how you pay well it depends it depends yeah, but yeah. you will see a difference within like the first 30 to 60 days yeah. you're gonna but see you, a difference but you definitely want to be um begin to build your credit mm-hmm. up um and then also you want to build good financial habits that's like the last thing like we, we're, we're basically going over how to mold a man into you know being a king for a queen mm-hmm. and that's how i rock i see myself as a king hence the fact king Stephen j uh yeah one day that queen will come. But until then, I'm still rocking as a king. That's fine. That's <laughs> fine. That's fine. But yes, you want to build a good financial habit. Mm-hmm. Like like in all honesty, um, whenever you're thinking about going to get that chicken sandwich, don't. I, I, don't, I don't rock with beef right now. So I'm just like, mm-hmm. yeah, no, I'm chicken sandwich, fish, you know, seafood. I'm, I'm, I'm good. But, mm-hmm. but no ground beef, period. Um, just like, man, do I really need that chicken sandwich or can I wait till I get to the house? You, you can know what wait I mean? because you probably got some in the fridge. Exactly. So. Exactly. So, and then on top of that, like when you're cooking stuff, try to, try to start meal prepping. Like mm-hmm. cook for at least about two to three days. Don't don't buy a small portion. Make sure you get a good size portion. That Break helps. it up to where you can eat at least two days. If you have to take it to work, take it to work. You'll save five to twelve dollars, even twenty dollars a day, and you'll be surprised how much that helps as well. Especially with gas travel and maintenance on your vehicle, all of that jazz. You just never know. Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. Brown so, bag it. <laughs> brown bag it yes that's 
and recycle. <laughs> I know you're not talking. <laughs> I know you. I will pack we got a two. peanut butter and jelly sandwich in a minute. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something about a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay, I'm so, not too. So I don't care how much I'm, money I make. I'm, I'm not too good for I it. I am in this whole phase of saving right now because this pandemic has got my paychecks looking crazy right now. So I had I eat a certain bread, artesian bread. Oh, that's bougie, that's y'all. that's my favorite bread. I don't care if it's three fucking dollars. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it, and it don't even come. And it, it comes with like maybe thirteen slices. Like for and real, you don't get the whole fifty, <laughs> like the other bread, like that great value wheat bread oh, bullshit. Shit. But anyways, I like the or artesian some bread. Some so <laughs> so this was different. I was watching a YouTube video where this guy, um, basically was just doing all kind of type of things with well, like grilled cheese sandwiches and the peanut butter sandwiches and jelly sandwiches. Okay, cool. So he toasted the bread. Never did this before. He okay. toasted the bread, right? He put jelly on the outside, jelly on one of the bread, and then um, jelly and peanut butter on the other one. So when he put it together, he had a jelly, jelly, peanut butter, jelly sandwich. So it it was jelly on both sides of the outside and jelly and peanut butter in the middle. And I was like, you know what? Let me just try this. Let me try this to see how it tastes. Okay. Yo, that shit. Jelly was everywhere. I'm just gonna let you know. It, was, see, I it looked like it, my face looked like you know you just you just came out the bedroom with the with the, with the guys of as a female. Like my face had jelly oh, all no. over nose. It looked like somebody just had a natural reflex of oh yeah on my face. Like you know what I mean? But jelly jelly was on my nose. It was like on my on my cheeks and my, on my lips. Yo, it was fucking fire. I'm not going to really? bullshit you. It was good as hell. It was good as remind hell. Me, remind me. I didn't realize how much I like grape jelly until when I had that peanut butter sandwich. Because I usually just do, you know, jelly on one side of the deal. Mm-hmm. Or when I do peanut butter, I just do peanut butter and jelly. And I'm, a, I'm more together. of a strawberry preserves. Fuck know. strawberries. Yes. This, this, this I, say, I, say, no, don't be a minister South Central by drinking juice in the hood with the government cheese. Burn it up. Say, ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow. And a hot sauce suck in the so tub. So you, you prefer grape? I, all the way. Okay. Grape, That's cool. Concord, That's cool. to be exact. Uh, Welch's. Well, at least it's Concord. <laughs> Welch's. It's a little bit, a little bit different. <laughs> Shit. And the Tom Thumb owls with the arrows pointing one way. Oh. And you having people being mad at you for cutting. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Bouge. Bourgeois. <laughs> Hey man, I can't shop at Bourgeois. I can't stop at Walmart, man. It's a time motherfuckers pissing me off. Man. I, then, I can't fade it. Nah, nah, I can't. I can't do Walmart. Kroger, preferably. Mm. But yeah. Yeah, Kroger's good too. Yeah. They got a good um they got a good reimbursement type thing with mm-hmm. the gas. So so yeah. Yes. <laughs> so um so when we think about all this, we say, you know, we have to we have to step it up as men. If we do not step it up, then we are financially ready to take care of family. Like how are we how are we financially ready to even take care of a woman? If you can't take care of yourself, that's the main thing. Like exactly, that's that's another thing I used to look at. Like, and what I would try to tell some of my friend girls is like, you got to see that a man like has his own and paying his own bills. Yeah, like to know if y'all would be okay. Like, yeah. if not, I mean, sometimes you can take that risk and it may work out, but sometimes that's not the case, and you gonna end up like footing majority of the bill because. Yeah. You you pretty much he pretty much showed you what he could do, yeah. which was not take care of himself. So <laughs> yeah, you know. So so man, follow. what do we do in a situation? You know, when we have to t- when we have to honestly take a step back, we have to self analyze and we have to have a good relationship with God or with the earth or mm-hmm. a good mental state of mind at the end of the day in order to correct a negative action within our financial aspect. To make us emotionally attractive. I'm not emotionally attractive. God damn it. Economically. Economically attractive. That's mm-hmm. it, emotionally attractive. <laughs> shit, that too, because some of y'all, <laughs> shit, y'all, <laughs> but, man, um, yeah. <laughs> like, in all honesty, it's not all about making a lot of money. It's about, you know, what are we doing with our time and with our resources? Yeah. That's, yeah. that's in, in all honesty, that's like the total truth right there. Right. Because, like, I believe, you know, when we want to take a person out, and and I watched this. It's, it's a guy named on on Instagram. Please follow him, man. It's called Anthony O'Neill. Mm-hmm. This dude is like, uh, he's like this young African American guy, and he just state facts, you know. Um, and he's in cahoots with uh, Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey. So, yes. so he's basically yeah. our version of Dave Ramsey. Yes. And I think that he's a little bit more collective as far as um, how should I say it? He's a little bit more. Um, what is the word I'm looking for? He 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 knows. 
our struggle because of obviously he's African American. Mm-hmm. So he doesn't tell you to go out there and risk the stupid shit. Right, like you know how I mean? they like, I mean, like, you gotta I mean... save millions. Of... Nah, bro, he's not saying that. <laughs> what he's saying is that everything you do, you gotta do it with purpose. Like mm-hmm. if you're dating mm-hmm. somebody, you gotta date with purpose. Uh, yes. With purpose, you can't go out there and, and, and like, like say for instance, if you have a thousand dollar paycheck every two weeks, mm-hmm. you can't go spend two hundred dollars. On At a female, fucking three on a date. yeah, yeah, it's like like, no. a, a, like like budget a, a honestly like a a date, which mm-hmm. is gonna be like forty or fifty bucks, in all honesty. Mm-hmm. And then after that, forty or fifty bucks is up. I mean, you guys' date is basically over with. But you got to be honest with that person, like, yeah, hey, you know, my name is Jonathan, and I'm dating with a purpose. Like my mm-hmm. my my whole you know deal behind this is not to you know stimulate you or or fucking like make it seem like I'm the, like the richest guy on earth mm-hmm. take you to three, three forks or anything like that let's go to a place called like burning rice or something like that let's go get this right. this rice bowl or something like that like for real and just chill and have conversations like that makes it more attractive to you know some men and, and, and I don't know where we got this whole facade that we have to you know take a woman out and treat her to like a hundred two hundred dollar date when we know that we're, we're struggling like if you don't make over thirty two hundred dollars a month you don't need to be doing no shit like that. Like, for real. Not even if you're making $5,000 a month. You shouldn't be taking nobody on a date like that. You should just chill. You know, Not take your time. Not on a first date. No, period. Like, like I mean, like, I say like if after. If we go together, maybe. Yeah, but then there's an anniversary type situation to where you go to restaurants like that. Well, true. Is that, true. So, so, I mean, like, there's. Okay, if we think Something about Cheesecake Factory. If we think about Cheesecake Factory, what's the, what's the, the, the cheaper version of Cheesecake Factory? It's BJ's. Like yeah. hands down, like yeah. it's, it yeah. really is. Like if you're thinking about going to like, uh, what three fourths of Rue Chris, like what's the cheaper version of that? Outback Steakhouse. I'm just Ew, keeping it. I know, but fuck. I'm just keeping it 100 with you. No, <laughs> at least take me to Sawgrass. Oh my so, god. Oh Sawgrass. Or what's yeah. the other one? What's the other one? That got the good fucking butter rolls. Oh Texas, Texas Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Mm-hmm. God, damn, yes. There's places, men, that you could take women to eat. I mean, you go to Texas Roadhouse while y'all waiting on the table. You can eat on some nuts. And yeah. I'm not talking about the sexual kind. You can eat some actual peanuts. <laughs> like, like they have a barrel of peanuts that you can actually, you know, take a cup, scoop it in, and you can actually eat. Yeah. And then guess what, guys? You can even throw it on the floor. You can litter it on the floor, and they would not care. They're going to send somebody to sweep that shit up. See. How gangsta is you walk in on nutshells when you go yeah. to Texas Road? Yeah, you do. I was kind of, like, taken aback the first time I went. I was like, exactly. And and, but, and, yeah. and, and, and and guys, on top of that, man, like, you you – when she eat that bread she's gonna feel like she's at home because i'm telling you that bread is buttery and is is warm yeah and then on top of that they steaks they steaks are just as equipped believe me i ate rue chris i eat when when rue chris was a customer of mine i ate rue chris at least about five times a month texas roadhouse is definitely equivalent to that like there is no the only difference is is the amount of service that you get yeah yeah. But one thing I do mix is that damn lobster mac and cheese, bro. Ooh, oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. But then like you know, like 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 Chrissy said, you know, there's times where you can just say, "Hey, let's go ahead. It's, it's like a it's like a pivotal moment of our dating." Mm-hmm. So let's go ahead and go to Paris or something like that. Like yeah. you you as a man will surprise her, but that's when you have everything lined up. Don't don't just do it because you say, "Oh, I got to now my check was a thousand dollars. Now it's fifteen hundred. Let me just go take her out because obviously the money that you worked hard for, and I'm not saying that she's not worth it, right? But that needs to be like saved or invested into something that can double it. Yeah, like like in no BS, you can't just sit up there and say, okay, well we got money now, so let me go ahead and take her to Paris. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, Paris, you're looking at eighty five dollars minimum per person per person and that's just yes. ordering your food that's not even talking about the drinks fellas yes believe me i know this type yeah, of everything's stuff. a la carte like i ain't got time <laughs> like, i ain't got time like, 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 we ain't even went to perry's yet hey, like hey, if you do man let me, hey fellas let me tell you how to bypass that whole expensive you know taste all right so what you do is you tell your girl say hey babe go ahead and meet me up for happy hour we're gonna go up to perry's everything is half off i guarantee you can get them pork chops that usually is forty dollars to fifty dollars they 14.99 bro they fourteen ninety nine. Wow. You Y'all better go, listen. You can go to Perry's during lunchtime and spend half the fraction of money that you would take her for dinner. That's crazy. And then if she hungry later on, she's like, baby, why don't you go to the refrigerator and you can put your food in the goddamn oven? Guess what? You yep. got Perry's all over again. <laughs> not the microwave. That's radiation. Yeah, yeah. No, you no, don't no. Nuke oven. You want to it because it's going to taste like straight shit. Yes. You want to go ahead and just put it back in the oven, 350 
put the alarm on the goddamn <laughs> uh, microwave for 12 minutes. Or if you got it on, if you got a, a oven that has warm, like hold, like warm. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. can you can bring it home. Yes. You can take it out of the food and actually put it in. You can actually put it in the skillet or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, but still, the, yeah. But most just, men, you know what I mean, you ain't got like dishes like that in your kitchen. I ain't going to even lie to you. So you might as well just put it in the refrigerator. And if she <laughs> wants you want to eat, get you a cookie sheet, put some foil on the cookie sheet, right? Right, fellas? You feel me? Yeah. And then I mean, warm the food, warm the food up, three fifty, fifteen minutes on the microwave. Do do, baby, your food is done. Put it on the plate for her. She Damn. got the whole restaurant all over again. And if you want to look a little bit more immaculate, go ahead and throw a napkin on your arm, make it seem like you're in surgery. I'm just saying. I- <laughs> See, now you're doing too much. Hit her with that, <laughs> hit her with that nice. cherry Kool Aid. She's gonna be like, "Can I get a refill?" I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> And by cherry, he means red. Yeah, that cherry red with the <laughs> red. four cups of sugar. Make it look like some lean on her ass. I'm just saying. Cherry hey. and lemonade. <laughs> I hope y'all making y'all Kool-Aid with lemonade. If y'all still drinking Kool-Aid, it need to right. have, it always need to be lemonade mixed with lemonade. Lemonade needs to be your back up. And yes. if we're not talking about anything, it got to be pink lemonade or no, pink or regular no, lemonade. No, regular lemonade. Regular lemonade. If, yeah, I, yeah. if we using that red, That needs to be the number cherry. two pack. So it could be cherry, lemonade. And lemonade. Blue or blueberry, lemonade. lemonade. Grape. <laughs> Lemonade, lemonade you know what i mean Shit, what you orange mean? lemonade and, <laughs> and you got to have a minimum of three cups of sugar let's get back on the topic okay <laughs> let's sorry guys i'm fellas i'm trying to throw something in there for you i'm trying to uh, try to help y'all out uh, y'all ain't uh, listening though whatever you you gonna listen by the end of this podcast <laughs> I, I guarantee you. all right so we already listed some of the things like when you're making money and it's not like the top of the mook type money, not the top of the top money. When you're just basically fifteen dollars an hour, and you yeah. starting to make money, are you saving? Are you investing? Are you debt free? Those are things that we want to look at. Yeah. And then we honestly, or at least, are you trying to get there? Yeah, yeah. Or are you trying to get there? But you, yeah. but at the end of the day, you want to make sound judgments mm-hmm. that would allow you to start saving, and then you want to get an app called Robinhood. Right, yeah, because because Chrissy put me onto this. Yes. You throw twenty dollars a week or twenty dollars every two weeks into mm-hmm. Robinhood, mm-hmm. and then next thing you know, you might have forty, you might have sixty bucks, mm-hmm. right? Then you can buy yourself a stock. Mm-hmm. Right now, I got about thirty shares in Delta because I got a feeling that the Tangerine is gonna basically bail them out. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Yeah. So yeah. when they get when when Delta gets bailed out, guess what? I have that amount of shares yes. in the company. Yes. And the dividends do pay out good. They paid out good in 2017 and 18. But let's not go into that. But yes. these are things that you want to do. Yes. And then also, debt free right now. If you got student loans, fellas, ladies, try to pay right, them off. Pay them like with the next five months. You're basically paying straight to the principal. They're holding off all yeah. of yeah. the, what do they call that? Uh, interest interest mm-hmm. yeah they, they they're holding all of the interest for the next five months mm-hmm. we're already a month in so we lost one month mm-hmm. but you definitely want to pay towards that mm-hmm. like if you owe ten thousand go ahead and get them a hundred dollars and guess what you're gonna owe nine thousand you right. welcome but or or depending on how much your student loan is if you don't want to tackle that one even though that that is a good one to tackle mm-hmm. but if you don't want to tackle that one do the snowball effect start with your smallest debt if you got a medical bill that's 150 dollars Call Start them. off with that because everybody right now Pay is it off. damn near holding interest because of yes. this COVID situation. So or I you know may that, can get a deal. <clears throat> so like, I know that it's, it's not good. Yeah. But at the end of the day, there is some good things that can happen mm-hmm. throughout the situation. Mm-hmm. And with that being honestly said, like, you know, if you're sitting at home, then find ways to basically enhance your abilities. Yeah. Reading is one. For sure. Self online courses. There's a whole bunch of different online situations that can help you with some intricate part of your life. Mm-hmm. You can learn different languages, mm-hmm. Hell, a new can, skill, something. Exactly. You could do something that'll help you to when we come out of this. You're definitely in a different position to where you started in. I was on my way to the store earlier. Um, and on the side of the road, there was some kids and they had a sign saying they were holding it up and they were saying like they're selling masks, mm-hmm. like face masks mm-hmm. or whatever. Like that's something that, you know, families can do. Exactly. Like just, you know, <clears throat> there's, there's a lot. You don't have to just sit here and, you know, be frustrated because you're stuck in the house. You can't go to the club, whatever the fuck that you normally would want to be doing. Like there's so much other things that you can be doing. Like this, honestly, like. You can tell these people 
either forgot how it was when we were younger, like in the nineties and stuff, like y'all don't forgot. Like we, we didn't have all this technology. Like we wasn't always on the go. Like we knew how to go outside. Like, yeah. even though they're saying like, Oh yeah, don't go outside. You need a face mask. But for the most yeah, part, we knew how to entertain all ourselves. All kind of people on the streets and in the parks. Yeah. See, so it's, it, just exactly. go back to the basics. Like, I really think like it's, it's, for some people, it's terrible. Like, yes, mm-hmm. there there are people dying. Like, it's not all fun and games. But I also see it in a in a different light because this is a way to reset. Exactly. You know, like to me, this this is back to basics. Yeah. yeah. People are at home like doing family shit, shit that they should have been doing. Like, it shouldn't have took this to happen for you to learn how to clean your fucking house up, learn how to wash your hands. Like, this is. This is crazy. Or just spend time with your kids. Like this shouldn't have took this to happen. Yeah. But but in 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 all fairness, it needed to happen. It did. It needed to it happen because because now our oceans are clearing up. Mm-hmm. Hell, even our ozone layer is better than what it was. See, with people like less people on the road. Mm-hmm. But I mean, in in all fairness, like I said, I didn't know. There was a economically attractive portion yes. of a man, period. I like I like I said, women, we are taught that's how we choose a man at times. Even though you don't. Sometimes we don't. Yeah. Sometimes we, we go against we, or, or some they're never that. taught. We're gonna hit it with that marriage rate. Sixty one point ninety six women. Just saying, whatever. <laughs> and then whatever. 40, 40 to fifty percent of them be like, nah, fuck that. He fine as hell. I'm just like, nah, I'm gonna let him get it. I'm gonna let him get it, girl. Shit. Whatever. I'm gonna let him get his. He gonna love me. <laughs> but for real, like, man, I don't know. I don't know. I mean it's it's, like, it's real. At the end of the day, fellas, um, I think I think now, and, um, but that with, goes both ways. I even though this is about <clears throat> men, I, like, I don't. It, it can go both ways, it, but but I don't yeah. want to focus on that because the the these the studies and also the numbers are accurate as hell. Like mm-hmm. there's more women going to college. There's more women in yeah. successful positions and stuff like that. To where now it is seen as though like men, especially my race, mm-hmm. our race, mm-hmm. it's it's not looking good. So it's like, what are some ways that we can sit up there and help, like ease that 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 whole rate, that whole percentage, is by stopping, sitting back, self analyzing, and start having a good relationship with anyone that we need to have a good relationship with. Yeah, I'm always encouraging, especially young people, since I am in my thirties. She act like she old as shit. I'm just saying, Whatever. you know, <laughs> with someone that's ten years younger than me, they feel like I'm I'm an old. And home. that's true. And, and, and so and, I try to encourage them, like if they're if they don't have um some sort of trade. Yeah. You don't you don't have to have a college degree. You don't have to have your bachelor's or master's or whatever. Just have a trade. Mm-hmm. If you don't have that, please go find one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm always you know, there's at my facility. And Nicole, you know of the young girl. She's probably what, twenty one, twenty two. She's in housekeeping uh, or whatever. And like, you know, she she does that. She got a little side gig or whatever. But I I often because she I can see the potential. I see her potential. Mm-hmm. And I often tell her, like, man, go back to school. Yeah. You know, like if I if I can see a young man, I would tell him the same thing. Yeah, you know, like just just go back to school. Like, well, I think that like with any with any like say say for instance, if there was like a, a male mentor around, mm-hmm. all all you have to do is just speak favor in that person. Yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. the more consistent consistent you are as far as speaking favor on that person, like mm-hmm. man, you're amazing. You did a good job. Yeah. Da, da, da. Then they start get more. You know. They start getting like they start opening up more to yeah. listening to you and everything like that. Yeah. Um. That's something that I do on my route when I'm working and stuff like that. You know, I talk to younger men, younger people. It's like, you know, what do you what do you plan on doing for like your next five or ten years? I've mm-hmm. been in your situation. The restaurant industry is not for you. Right. Go ahead, and make that transition happen now. What you got to do to get in school? Oh, I need this and this and that. It's like go to community college. Do it. It's cheap as hell. Like you, you ain't got no kids yet. Get yourself like, started. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lead a whole sex game alone. Just get yourself situated. Yeah. But in hindsight of of this right here, mm-hmm. like 
I think the ending of what Anthony O'Dell said, I'm just going to basically repeat what he said. Okay. And I'll, I'll put it in the conclusion aspect. Okay. Um, the caliber of your future is dedicated to the choices you make today. Mm. What choices are you making today that is going to be attractive to your wife and family later? If you're not making smart choices now, do you expect to get the queen you want in the future? And that hit home. Mm. That hit home. Because basically how I perceive that is, how do you expect to get the woman that you've asked for, that you've prayed for, that you talked about day in and day out, if you can't afford to keep her? And I'm not talking about like just showering her down with like gifts and stuff like that every day. But how can you keep up the household? How can she feel secure in the fact that when she come home, the electricity is on? They got food. You got food in the refrigerator. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? How can major. she feel warm enough to, you know, allow you in in a more deeper aspect? And when I read that, that's that's what came to my mind is like, yo, I've been like honestly fucking up and I really need to hone in on this whole research situation and just mm-hmm. change a lot of things that I'm doing. Now that I'm about to be 35, it's like, yo, hopefully by the time I'm 36 that I can be prepared for all of this. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, I can talk a good game. Yeah, I can treat you well. But it's like, yo, like, can according I to really... my, according to before the whole COVID thing, like, yeah. I can I can hold us down for six months. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But after this whole COVID, I can do it for about four weeks. No bullshit. Yeah, no, that's no not bullshit long because enough. like like that's like men enough. and in all honesty, this COVID thing is or and, and also women. This COVID thing was a blessing to me because it pointed it, was a out, to it me. pointed out a whole bunch of money that I was just wasting. Mm-hmm. And I'm talking about forty four hundred a month wasting. That's a lot. <laughs> that yeah, my my bills game is crazy. But now it's changed because of this right here. Yeah. And that's why I say, like, when I told you I done dipped into my savings because mm-hmm. I, I just I cut shit out. I was like, yo, I don't need this. I don't yeah. need this. I don't need this. So with that being said, you know, to 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 men and women, just sit back, self-analyze. Mm-hmm. And then from there, start praying, start becoming one with this earth. Mm-hmm. Or start putting yourself in a yoga situation to where you just at a peaceful state of mind to where you can focus in and hone in on getting rid of bad luggage yes because i mean that'll help you out with your savings that'll help you out with your your, your credit that'll help you out with so many different things that that that'll make you feel more confident as a person <laughs> no you can take somebody on a date and the bill ain't coming out your account at the same time like yo uh, right? so we're gonna risk this like shit she <laughs> she can eat the steak or my electricity gonna stay on like which one gonna hit first <laughs> As as they uh bring in the <laughs> as they bring in the receipt, like let me hold on, let like, me look at my let me go ahead and look at my account right <laughs> quick. Ooh, this swipe, man. you better swipe the shit out of that car. You better I done, swipe it I done did it plenty of times, but like for real, like that's not life. That's, that's not that's, that's, that's not, not like how life should be. That's, like life should be like, yo, I'm about to go ahead and hit this ATM before we go out, or you could just swipe it with just confidence, like you know, we're gonna take this. You remember like, that Cat Williams like, where he just. <laughs> Like with me, like like say for instance with me, boy, I remember like it was a time. I said like I want to say like probably like when I was staying over there, Tim mm, Glenn, mm-hmm, in Tim Glenn mm-hmm. apartments. Uh oh. I was a warehouse manager. I'll make a motherfucking cake. I can lie to you. It was so bad story. I was blowing at least about. I was making like maybe like sixty two hundred a month. As a fucking twenty six year old. Back then. Back when then. When rent wasn't shit. Back then. Okay. I'm gonna tell you what me and my boy used to do. We used to throw barbecues. You remember the barbecue oh, yeah. parties oh. every weekend? Yeah. And I'm yeah. talking about Dumb you know shit. I mean, sometimes yeah. you might go to a barbecue and they got like you know twenty hot dogs, like fifteen patties of hot dogs. No, I mean hamburgers. Now nah, 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 we had fucking we had enough food to support the whole goddamn apartment complex. Yeah. And then like when people came to the pool, they like, yeah, yeah, come on. We talking about liquor, food, all of that stuff. Yeah. And then strip clubs. I was always in the strip club throwing some money. <sighs> that shit adds up. That I was in the strip club blowing some money. But if I made the decisions back then, that would have put me in a better decision than I'm in right now. I could have had my house. Yeah. I could have had a house paid off by now. Yeah. So yeah. So that's what I mean about like 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 making these these sound decisions right now yes, to, to put yourself in a better situation. A budget. Yes, yes. So mm. 
I mean, in, in, in all fairness, that mm-hmm. that was the conclusion right there. Yeah. The whole caliber of the future is dedicated on the choices that you make today. That that was the conclusion right there. That's real. Um, so we got some homework to do, ladies and gentlemen. All right. While we at the end, the tail end of this this pandemic, mm-hmm. I don't think it's gonna last that much longer because it's I, getting to I a really point where that. Americans and and wherever else you live at, um, if you live outside of America, um, it's getting to the point now to where you know the economy is just slowing down, it's stalling and it's stalling and stalling. So take heed of what's going on right now. They always say it's bad to save your money. It's bullshit. It, I always hear that you're, if, you're, if it's in a savings account, it's not making nothing. No, that's that's bullshit. If you got your money sitting in a savings account, let it sit there. I don't care if you got to put it in a Nike shoe box. I don't care if you got to actually put it in a checking account. Right. But at the end of the day, this right here is living proof that no matter what happens in this world, them bills are still going to fucking come. Mm-hmm. And then on top of that, it's like if you met somebody, y'all just moved in and you was making okay money. Now she's looking at you like, yo, do we have a place to stay? Right. Like you want to be able to provide for whoever you're talking to. Yeah. And you want to date with a purpose. You want to marry with purpose. Mm-hmm. You want to live as married couple with purpose. It, it, it that that is supersede anything talking about money's going to run out because it's always going to be there. She will be secure. And And fellas, I'm telling you right now, that right there will keep her in that house 90% of the time, not not like physically in the house, but keep her with you over anything that trumps besides infidelity. That shit is just going to be, that you, you're just dead right there in the water. Yeah. But, you know, communication, she's, she's, she's happy because she's secure. Mm-hmm. Because she know that one out of damn near 98 men <laughs> do not have that security blanket. So if That's you bad. if you're doing that and treating her right at the same time, she Man, ain't going yeah, nowhere. Yeah. She ain't going nowhere whatsoever. And it's the same thing for women. If yeah. you're doing that for a man, eh, no, nah, it's not the same thing. I'm taking that back. Some motherfuckers just Y'all stupid. don't be giving it. Some men are still stupid. They see some no, they see no. a cat walking by, they're gonna be like a dog trying to smell her. <laughs> so unless you went through a couple life experiences where you know, just <laughs> keep your nose to yourself, goddamn. Life <laughs> for real. For real. But, but you know, you know, man. But in hindsight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And in this podcast, which is one of our shortest episodes mm-hmm. right here, um, we we need to do homework. We need to figure out what our strengths and our weaknesses are, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, And then I agree. from there, write it down. Like we always say, you write down your pros and your cons. Reevaluate. Exactly. If need be, reevaluate. Exactly. Make yourself a budget. Create mm-hmm. some long term goals. Out of that, get your credit up. Make good financial habits build your savings account up get yourself ready because you're going to meet that queen ladies you're going to meet that king and you never know when you're going to meet them so you want to make sure you're at least somewhat on point you may not be exactly at the at your end goal but you at least want to be in the middle in the middle yeah because if you're at the beginning still like you you have nothing to give them yes you have nothing to offer them and depending on where they are at in their life they may pass you up because no, you you're more of a liability yeah. to me. Yeah. So and that's why dating on purpose is, is mm-hmm. definitely important because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, if you're dating, if you're just dating to date, y'all just fucking. Pretty much, and that's yeah. depending on yeah. what age you are. Time. Like that, that's a waste. Yeah. 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 Once right. you get about thirty, dating with importance, it, it kicks in, yeah. and you want to make sure that that person is on the same level as you financially and everything like that. Because at the end of the day, as soon as you guys six months in, it's like yo, we need to get a place together. That's mm-hmm. an apartment. You ain't going to get no damn house. Don't be no, a fucking no, no. idiot. If, if you're not married and you got a house together. You, don't do that. Yeah. Don't yeah, do that. I mean, yeah, yeah, at, yeah. at least try not to. I'm not unless you know. You, but that's, that's not a smart Unless decision. you know you finna get married within. within. No, don't even do it. Don't even do it. I'd just rather wait, not. I'd just, just rather wait not. I'd rather to not. after the wedding. and then, or, or when you guys are getting a house, make sure that it's. It's coming up two months outside of the wedding. Yes. So the whole process goes through by the time the wedding is over with. And you guys come back from the honeymoon, boom, you're in that house. Yes. Now you're living yes. in your own space. Nobody's been there. It's just you guys. Yeah. So um, I agree. I agree. Those are the, that's the homework that we want to do. Those are the decisions that we want to make going mm-hmm. forward. Um, men, we want to make sure that we economically attractive for women. Yes. Period. We don't want to be attractive. We we want to be AKA, physically attractive too. But number one is economically attractive because the be end on of the your day, shit. Yeah. At the end just, of the day, you're going, you might not get chose first. <laughs> 
You might not get chose second. You might not get chose third. But God damn it, if you're that person's friend, you're going to get chose at some point. Yes. I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. With the right person. With the right it person. It may not be the one that you want yeah. to choose you. Yeah. Like, you want, you want Melissa to choose you, but it's going to be But Angie, fucking, Angie, her friend, and, see what you yes. got going on. And she's like, you know what? I think I'm more for you. Yes. So. That's how they go. See, you had to mention friend. It ain't even got to be nobody damn friend. It could be a random... Hey, most of the time, I told y'all stop listening to Stephen. Most of the time, she say listen to me and then say don't listen. To me. I I, I time, know I don't know what to low say. Low key, no most of the time it's if if she if you got a girl that you like and she got attractive friends too, it ain't gonna be hard for you to move her to the left. God damn. Okay. Because then that motherfucker, that motherfucker gonna be like, damn, why come I didn't date you? I'm like yeah, you was wasting my time. You wasn't looking for the right thing. You was looking for, you was looking for male versions of poop butts. God. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> it never fails. <laughs> hey, I gotta say that word one time. And 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 and. Side note. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sis, please tell some of our listeners what a poop putt is. A poop putt. <clears throat> I hate the word, but um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna close my eyes. No, no. I'm gonna close I my eyes for I this one because because I'm, I'm envisioning the whole. The, the the origin of the word so it, it came, came it came from paid in full the right? dictionary of paid in full <laughs> not webster <laughs> but he was too old to even know what this word is dictionary yes um you don't want to be you need to lace your shoes and wash them like this you don't want to go outside walking like a poop putt that's what he said that means you don't want to be a fucking bum all right. Yeah, 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 bum. That's bum that's the definition. You don't want to be a dude, bum ho. You don't want to be a bum dude, and you want to be a bum ho. So for for everybody that didn't know what a poop butt is, that's definitely a poop butt. Thank you just for pouring up that oh, drink. Yeah, I really yeah, need yeah. it right now. I have to explain yeah. that. Yeah. So to uh, end this episode, uh oh, we got the homework to do. We mm-hmm. listed the homework. So is there, mm-hmm. is there anything else that we need to tell our listeners to do? Um, following the whole economically attractive. No, that that's it. Um, like I say, I'm on unfortunately it's just about men you know we probably will get you know we'll get on fellas y'all on, not the only online. ones I, I'm, I'm i've been fucking up too i'm just gonna keep it 100 with y'all i am not gonna lie we are not we're all in the same boat together we all right yeah we on the amistad together <laughs> oh god look at tragic as hell right now but you know what you know what we finna upgrade and get on the caribbean the royal caribbean is coming oh, i promise shit. you we just nah, need to, give we need me to that one that go it. around the fucking Mediterranean. Give me that one. Not the fucking. She wants to ride the carnival. I mean, their engines. No, are not that what good. the fuck? I don't want that. She one. wants to ride the Norwegian. You know what I mean? Yeah, with the stuck up people. Like, yeah, I want the gray poupon. Fuck that. No, nah. that's what I want. Give me some shrimp. Ew. No, no, I want the gray poupon, Dijon, mustard. Shit, goddamn me. But no, be on your shit. Get on your shit. That way, your queen will come to you. You have to be in alignment. Whether you, if you on this conscience tip, if you're on biblical tip, like you have to be in alignment in order to be, in order to get what's due to you, what's owed to you. So if you ain't know, I'm just saying, if you ain't know your shit, you ain't going to find your queen. Pretty much. I mean, you're going to find her, but it ain't going to last that long. You ain't going to find you're her. You're going to be hard. No, you're going to find her. You so you're saying she's her. still going to come? She's still going to come, but you're just not going to be ready for her. She's going to leave you. She's going to drop you like a because bad Because you habit. ain't on your shit. Because you're not, you're not ready. Yeah. Mm. I mean, that's, well, that's there Word go. is Bond. There you, there you be. There you go. And Word but, is Bond, is, it, comes, it originates from another movie, guys. That is not anything that goes against anybody that we know. Word is Bond. <laughs> she said, do you take I, a drink? I, yeah, shit. To that word is bond. You got to toast yeah. up. Come on, toast up to the word yeah, is bond. Yeah, we toasting. We toasting to the word is bond. I know you heard that. Yeah. So yeah. So we want to tell you guys that we love you. Love y'all always. We we really appreciate you guys listening to every episode and definitely listen to the end. We know who listened to the end. All of my people with Apple phones that goes to the iTunes. Oh god. And they listen to the whole episode. Some of our Google listeners they don't they don't they 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 stop midway. Oh, and I don't man. know what we're not doing to keep your interest, but we're going we gonna to factor you guys in. All right? <laughs> All of my people in Canada, I appreciate you. Ooh. Man, y'all yellow brights up there are real. <laughs> no lie. No lie. To the four people that listen in Europe, I appreciate you for. I'm not going to even lie. 
into the one person in Asia. Hey. Man, you are the motherfucking truth, hands hey. down. But to our solid listeners, our solid listeners are here in Dallas, Texas. And we have some in Houston. But I we really appreciate the hell out of you guys. So we want you guys to tune into the next episode. I know we told you guys that this episode was going to be dealing with boss babes. But um, unfortunately, we had some um, issues that happened there. Um, but our next episode is definitely going to be about boss babes. We're going to definitely yes. tune in to women entrepreneurs, especially African-American women entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. Um, they're going to give us the game. We're going to ask some very intensive questions just to kind of get you guys some some details about how you can get to the next level in your life. If you want to do something when it comes to fitness, you want to own a boutique, you want to get out there and be the president. I mean, we're going we're gonna to get it out of there. Whatever you want to do. But on some real shit, we need some, we need some black nail shops. Uh, with that being said, guys. We will. You know what? There <laughs> is one. No lies. There's one downtown. Don't give me the line. I feel like it's on Harwood. I may be lying, though. But it's downtown. It is black owned. Obviously, they're not open right now because yes, yeah, you know, they're closed. Quarantine and <laughs> and what have you, but uh, no, we we do have some in Dallas, uh, not many. Obviously, uh, the others yeah. take you know, yeah, yeah. But we gonna we gonna we gonna change yeah, yeah. it up. We gonna change it up. We gonna we gonna bring a lot of women to power um, with this next episode, um, especially if you feel like you've been missing out on a lot of information, or that you feel like you need more information, um, and you're just getting by. Um, just, just, just give us, shoot us an email at after dark talk podcast at gmail.com. Let us know what you would like to ask or like for us to ask. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You get us up with questions like that. And we can ask them also to the ladies that's going to come on the show. Um, just to get some of the, the questions out there that you guys want to uh, be answered. But other than that, man, I want to say we love you. Is there anything else you want to add on? No, I I love y'all. Keep listening. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Keep listening and represent the ADT. All right. And then, y'all post these pictures. Hashtag ADT in this so we can see what y'all out there doing. All right. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Love you guys. Y'all have a good night. And that's the end of this show. Peace.